in the future it would be really important, I think, to, um, to understand how to make the diagnosis of visual snow syndrome objectively in a, in a single patient. Currently we have only the possibility to make a clinical diagnosis by taking history, but we put you it would be extremely important to have uh, like a test to, to make the diagnosis in, in, in one patient. Another thing I would be very interested in is, in is understanding how many people actually have visual snow syndrome. What's the frequency in the normal population? What is the frequency in, let's say, a group of patients with headache? What's the frequency in a group of patients with tinnitus? And the next thing in respect of therapy is how can we treat visual snow syndrome without medication. At the moment we don't have any medication you take on a daily basis that would improve the symptoms, but probably there are some other approaches which do not involve medication but which can help uh, reducing the symptoms or which can help reducing the suffering from the symptoms.